This is Melanie Wilkinson from the newsroom. Well, we come to you today in a different sort of scene. Uh, the black billowing smoke is now gone. Um, it's daylight. You can see um, behind me the devastation that's been left behind after Friday's fire. Um, yesterday they were forced to uh, take down part of the east wall uh, in the building that did house the Eagles Club. Um, it was unstable. Um, they brought in Wyad construction, constructors and they took the wall down, also with help from the York Fire Department. This is the first time since Friday that there has not been, that I haven't seen, um, fire vehicles here. They were using the aerial um, yesterday, uh, they had it all the way up inside deep into the center of the building where they had about three or four hot spots that they were having problems getting under control. You can still smell the smoke, but it's not as visible as it has been. Um, we're receiving reports that the Red Cross has been instrumental in helping the people that lost their homes in these particular buildings. Um, three of them are York College students. They've been taken in by York College given housing. Um, they've gotten clothing and, and food from the Red Cross. One woman uh, lost her home here. She is uh, staying in a hotel with the Red Cross and uh, has been given clothes and food and some money for expenses as well. Um, so far it sounds that the two firefighters that were taken to York General Hospital are, are doing fine. They're doing better than they were. Um, we are having some reports of some police officers and other rescue workers that had some smoke inhalation problems. They're not hospitalized, but they're dealing with those problems right now. We've been told also that some of the business owners say that they're willing to rebuild. They're coming back and things will be stronger than ever. It's a testament to the spirit of this town. Um, it's volunteers and the people that stand behind each other. So again, here we are two days after the fire, one of the biggest fires in York's history, at least in the last century. And this is Melanie Wilkinson from the newsroom.